Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your computer run um, faster uh, by doing little things in the control panel, uh, disk defragment, disk cleanup, stuff like that. Um, so, um, the main reason your computer might be running slow is because you have too many programs on it um, and you don't have enough memory to support the amount of programs that you have. Uh, the way we're going to be fixing that is going to the control panel. It's probably going to be different for Windows XP users. Okay, then you're going to go to programs and install a program. Okay, a couple things when you're here in the control panel and installing a program is you want to be careful what you want to install because um, it could affect your computer next time you restart it. Um, for example, I have no clue what this is right here, so I'm not even going to go uh, go near that. Um, another thing is after you want to install a program, it might tell you to restart your computer. Uh, do not do that, especially if you're going to be on installing multiple programs. Uh, it doesn't affect your computer, but you're going to be restarting it all day, you know. So just uninstall uh, a couple programs, and then you can restart your computer afterwards. All right. So I basically don't have anything to uninstall, so we'll just continue. Next thing we're going to do is uh, find disk cleanup. Okay. Now what a disk cleanup does is uh, you might want to choose your C drive. That's the most common. Okay. So what a disk cleanup does is it doesn't delete any files. So if you have anything personal, you don't have to worry about that. Basically, what this does, it compacts the files to make more space uh, on whatever drive you choose. So um, so after you do that, you just follow the steps and go ahead and do that. Next thing is a disk defragment. Uh, you've probably heard this before. It's really common. Uh, basically, almost the same thing as disk cleanup, compact some files, you know, does things to whatever drive you choose. Okay. Uh, basically, uh, it says it right up here what it is. Um, I'm not going to defragment now since I already do it and I have it scheduled. Uh, you basically want to try to get your disk defragmenter on a schedule so it does it often. It doesn't have to be every day, but just to do it often. Okay, so after you do that, next thing is um, antivirus programs, Malwarebytes, AVG, uh, McAfee, all those different programs. Um, I can't really tell you which one is the best. I can only tell you which one I use, and that's AVG and Malwarebytes. The reason I have both is Malwarebytes is for basically malware only and um, spyware, all that type of stuff. I run that one about uh, twice a week. AVG, I have it on a schedule every day. Uh, you could get AVG um, and Malwarebytes for free. The link's going to be in the description for you guys to download it. Uh, that's a safe download right there for you guys. And uh, basically, what you want to do is run that one. So you have Malwarebytes, anti malware. And uh, you want to run that one. See right here, you could do updates. Uh, you have your logs, quarantine, all that. Scanner. Um, if you just finish performing a full scan and you're in the same week, you could just do a quick scan. So uh, here's perform full scan. You could choose, um, just basically choose everything. Uh, I mean, what's going to happen, you know? So you choose everything, you scan it all. It's probably going to take about two hours. That's what happens to me every time. It takes about two hours. Uh, make sure to update it real often. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So you go ahead and update o update it often, run it often, and yeah, that's basically doing it. So to recap, you uninstall programs, don't uninstall it if you don't know it, disk defragment, disk cleanup, and uh, basically running antivirus scans real often. Be careful what you download. Um, it, it it's it's all it's all a matter of um, how you go about it. Be careful what you download. Don't go into sites you don't know. You know. So, yep, that's it. Make sure to subscribe. I got more tutorials coming on the way. So, yeah, make sure to subscribe, rate, and comment. Thanks for watching.